ABC Newcastle. And in just a moment, Rosemary Milson will be previewing the morning show. But before that, what an interesting name for a movie is The Island of Dr. Moron. Here's a little bit more of that. I think it's going to be pretty wacky and Jimmy Chapman, the man behind this movie, will be joining me in the studio in just a moment to explain what the heck is all about the island of Dr Moron. Local Hamilton identity Jimmy Chapman has joined forces with film producer Chris Dockrell to create a very special event called the Island of Dr Moron. It's a, In this musical, Jimmy is the right-hand man and here to explain about the new performance is Jimmy Chapman joining me in the studio this morning. Jimmy, great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Tell us... Well, let's, t- let's talk a little bit about you, first of all. Yep. Where did this, this whole love of creating this sort of entertainment come from? I've been involved with theatre maybe for the last 25 years or so. Yeah. Uh, I originally started with Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. Yes. Uh, toured Australia for about 17 years, on and off, and, yeah, things developed from there, I suppose. This project, it looks pretty involved. There's been a lot of people working on this. How, how, where did the idea come from before we talk about what it actually is? Yeah, uh, well, it was created by a, a guy called Chris Dockerell. Yep. Uh, he wrote The Island of Dr. Moran and wrote all the music. There's 21 original songs, all rock blues. Well, once you see it, you'll never forget it, believe me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of those. It's one of those things, yeah. <laughs> tell, us about, tell us about your role. You're obviously a, a keen performer. Did you, did you jump into this, boots and all? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was great to have the opportunity to be a part of the show. Yeah. Because it's just so unique. The Island of Dr. Moron is uh, unbelievable. It, yeah. It's bigger than Texas, honestly. The, the music's fantastic. The whole, the visual, the sound, it's, you know. It's, what's, what's, this, what's the rough storyline? Uh, roughly, it's about this crazy doctor that's in the genetic mutation. Right. Uh, so it's his island. And uh, a young couple, Eddie and Dougie, get washed up on this desert island. And they get captured by Voodoo Valma and her tribe. They're cannibals. And obviously, the cannibals want to eat people. So they're celebrating the capture and... There's a couple of wash-ups on the island. There's a preacher and a photographer, and <laughs> they get onto Voodoo Valma and say, "Look, you know, don't eat them. Take them to the slave market and sell them to the doctor on the other side of the island, who's in a genetic mutation. He turns uh, humans into animals to bring out the beast in them. And uh, so that's the beginning <laughs> of the journey. And they go off to the slave market and get sold. And and the doc- doctor takes a, a very keen interest on uh, Eddie, the, the female of the, uh, the the couple, and uh, takes back to the house of pain and starts his <laughs> How do you want to put oh, that? Tongue to sin, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. Start his, well, his, have his evil way. Yes. So it's, it's a big cast. It's a big it production, is isn't it? Yeah, it's massive production. It's, uh, uh, we have five musicians, five musicians, uh, three backup singers, uh, 14 dancers. The cast is about 35 all up. We did the original production at the New Olympia Theatre in Darlinghurst. Yes, I see, yes. Uh, in 2014, we did 20 shows there. Yep. The last 10 shows, we had 14 cameras in-house and recorded roughly about 270 hours of footage which then was edited. It took 11 months to edit and we've ended up with this great movie of the actual stage production. Yeah, So yeah. now we've got 5.1 sound surround system, high-definition def- high projectors uh, and we're going to tour the film regionally to take it to the people. In, in, in film version? In film version, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's, uh, Is it nice to be able to sit back and actually enjoy watching it now that you've, you've performed it? I mean, it, doing it every night and doing it, you know, sort of night after nights can, can be hard work. Is it nice to have the film version to enjoy it? It is, yeah, and it was such a pleasure to do the, the live version. Yeah, know, yeah, I can it, imagine. It was, because it was all new, it was all original. Yeah, know, it's not as if uh, it was a part that someone else already played. Yeah. So Chris gave all the actors the opportunity to bring those characters to life. And what did you do with your character? What was what was it well, about your my character? character I, I played the part of uh, Doctor Moran's lab laboratory assistant. Yes. Myself and another guy. Yeah, and yeah. So we were uh, Siamese twins joined at the brain, separated at birth. <laughs> so obviously we weren't real clever. <laughs> yeah, uh, half a bra- you had half a brain each. Yeah, half a brain each. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. So basically. We were his henchmen and we helped him with all his duties. And yeah, well, yeah. it sounds like a whole heap of fun. Oh, so, where, where can people see it um, first? 
Uh, we have when are you going to have? Uh, we have the Gallipoli Legions Club in Hamilton yep. on the uh, 5th of October. Right. Uh, we've got eight nights there. Yep. Uh, we're also in Stroud, Dungog, uh, Bulladoola and Hawk's Nest. Uh, so, so we're starting to get around. We, we want to it. take it to the people. Uh, yeah, that's the whole idea. Yeah, yeah. And um, how can people, so if they um, check the Gallipoli Club um, website, or is there a website generally that people yeah, yeah, can go to? Yeah, you uh, the Island Dr. Moran website. Oh, that's easy. Uh, you can buy tickets online or yep. there's limited tickets available at the door. You can go on Facebook. If you would like to have uh, a quick glimpse of the show, you can go on uh, YouTube yep. and check our official trailer app and yep. that'll sample the music and a bit of a collage of the Bit of the movie. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Jimmy, great to see you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's a lot of work to get <clears throat> to get something to this stage, and uh, obviously it was worth doing. Yeah, well, don't miss it. It's a fantastic show. It really. sounds it. The Island of Dr. Moore, I'll go onto the website and you can uh, <clears throat> you can see more and work out how you can go and catch the movie. He's Turner. And together, we, we just love, love the wet jobs. jobs. <laughs>